Hey guys, it's Chris again from CMFs and as we all know, Facebook uh, just bought WhatsApp for 90 billion dollars and well, many people don't want to use uh, WhatsApp anymore, so I'm just going to show you two good alternatives uh, to WhatsApp. So, um, well, the first one is going to be free and it's Telegram and well, not really many people have it. So if I go to a new message and I search for my contacts, nobody has it. So that's a really big problem of both these apps. Um, but the good thing is you can add a group and as you can see, uh, zero of 199 people so it's quite a good app for group chat chats and this is just my uh, iPad uh, my Mac that is also connected so this app is all also available uh, for sorry just from the last video um, this app is also available for the Mac uh, but you have to enable it through your account on your iPhone so maybe it could be uh, useful but well just not that much. Uh, in the settings you can go and set your profile photo, you have your notification sounds just like in WhatsApp I think. Blocked users which is really awesome if you have people that are quite annoying, I like that. Then you have your text size and what photos you want to download from private chats. And you can have your uh, chat background which is quite well okay. Then if we want to uh, save incoming photos and well yeah so we could add that. And my contacts it just shows every contact and we could invite them to uh, Telegram but nobody really has it but I think the design is good and it works pretty well if I now send a message to my Mac and all uh, the way back so uh, this is pretty nice and it's free it's Telegram but now let's go to the next one and this one has security level 10 I don't know it's pretty secure and this is what uh, you get uh, in the first view you have to log in and you get a key fingerprint which I'm not going to show him, you get this nice little barcode, I think, which uh, people could scan in with the camera icon right there. And uh, this is the most secure because then you know it's the person you really contacted because you have to be, well, in front of them. Then you have your 3 my ID, which is not that secure, but it's okay. And then you have your linked uh, email and phone number and your public name and you can make some backups. Well, yeah, choose a password. So this, uh, the most secure is uh, because of the barcode, then I think the three my ID, and then your uh, linked email or phone number. So my contact, I have two, and as you can see, they are level uh, zero, uh, so level one, because I just uh, added them because of the phone number. So I'm not really sure who they are. And the problem is the first time they wrote, uh, they texted me, I just saw this uh, strange number. So I really didn't know who they were, I had to ask, and after they told me, I could tap on the uh, uh, contact and link my one of my contacts to those. Uh, so I have to do the work to uh, know who they are, so it's a bit too much security, I think. And in the settings, it's just the same as and before, we have the privacy, we have notifications, whatever we want. Um, yeah. Uh, so we have a passcode lock, which is again privacy. So this uh, app really has privacy non-stop. And I could now, uh, I'm just gonna go here and blur it out. But now uh, you can see uh, the layout is quite quite easy and the same as in WhatsApp, but you can't really send uh, like uh, voice, voice messages. You can just send photos or videos or choose existing photos or videos and share your location. So that's not that much. So this app is really just for uh, security. So these are both the apps that are, I want to show you today. And well, I think uh, Telegram is better because it's free, but it's not that safe, but I don't really care. Uh, well, NSA can read my messages if they want to. I don't have anything private. Uh, so um, just try them out both. Three more cost, $1.99, I think. Uh, so just try them out and maybe buy three more if, you're more, if you want to feel more secure. So that's awesome. Thanks for watching and see you next time.